Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. I'm gonna try and get in frame as much as I can here. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back in my main studio tomorrow, sometime Saturday, assuming nothing drastic changes. Should be a 50k celebration either Saturday, Sunday now. I might have to adjust the time depending on some prior engagements. We're talking Mandalorian though, and you know, good news! Mandalorian, just in time for the holidays, you're getting some Baby Yoda merch from the Mandalorian. Look at your face. Now, of course, according to this article, they didn't want to give us any merch because, you know, spoilers, etc., etc. I get it. I get it. It would have been nice to have been hyped for something Star Wars, though. Instead, like, now I'm thinking, okay, is this suspicious? Are they just trying to do this with a cute little thing that might be appealing to kids just to shut down any pretty much YouTube channel? that they disagree with because of this Copa crap, because that's what is going through my head with this. You know, because like I said, my channel survives on you guys alone, sharing, subscribing, Reddit, liking the video, commenting, etc., etc. Now, please be kind to me in the comments. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a few reasons why I did not enjoy this episode, probably nearly as much as you guys did. I know everybody has been really, really excited and really positive with Mandalorian so far. I was kind of bored and annoyed by the first episode. Baby Yoda is adorable and I love him to death. Love, love, look at his face! Love, 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 his face! That is what I'm enjoying in this episode. But then I start thinking and I start, I start, my brain, my brain never stops. And that's why I go off on a million tangents, a million miles a minute here. I was, I was watching this episode three and there will be full spoilers, by the way. Episode three has such a predictable plot line that I was stressed out they were going to subvert our expectations. Oh, I, w I was really, really stressed and worried. And I I was scared to death because I, I saw like a headline from one YouTube channel. I didn't click on the video that they, they said, oh, they just killed the Mandalorian. They killed Baby Yoda, whatever they did. Spoil so, so don't be like me and be worried and stressed out through the whole episode, which is part of why I didn't enjoy it too. I was worried they were actually going to do it and subvert our expectations. No, you don't kill the baby Yoda. No, you do not kill the baby Yoda or hurt him. And that, that's the other thing. This this really stressed me out because, all right, so he has to turn in the bounty. The bounty is the baby Yoda. As hashtag Boda. That's what I've been calling him, Boda, B-O-D-A. So, so he has to turn in the little baby Yoda and... <sighs> He gets a giant payment in the form of a loot box from the video game. You know, that's, that's what it really reminded me of anyway. So he uses that to basically enforce the armor, which, you know, that's that's all well and good. I, I get it. And everything was really, really super predictable. I'm like, oh, okay, and then he's going to go back. And then he's going to go back. And then I kept stressing, oh, wait a minute. What if, this th what if this headline that I read from this video was right? Did they actually do it? Oh, my God. Because Ryan Johnson. See, they have given me PTSD because of what Ryan Johnson has done to Star Wars. I'm like, oh, my God, what are they going to do? They're going to take this away now. I can't get attached to anything because of what they've done to Star Wars. They've broken it so bad. So I did not enjoy this with when you have a 38 minute episode and 35 minutes I'm there worrying they're going to subvert my expectations again and you know it's, it's, it's like the old cupcake that's hooked up to electricity you're just gonna stop grabbing for the cupcake after a while because you know nine times out of ten it's gonna be electrocuted and I you don't you don't, you don't face you look at the face I was so stressed out and in my head like you know, you know me my brain never stops going are they vivisecting him? Are they hurting him? Are they hurt? Are they tearing him apart? Did they do an experiments on him? And and even if even if they weren't going to kill him, like they still hurt him a little. It was off screen, sure, but you know, of course, they give the other shot of the salacious crumb roasting on an open fire too. Again, this episode stressed me out, and you know, with all the Copa stuff and all of these things, I just was not enjoying most of this episode. Even though I can definitely appreciate why, why people, what people are enjoying out of it, because I watched it with somebody who was really, really enjoying this, and yeah, you can you can appreciate the Western aspect. It's a, it's a good, predictable, generic Western with Star Wars. You know, it's a Western in Star Wars. I like that. I like that it's shootouts and not a bunch of rock and spot, sock and robot beat em up stuff. I do appreciate a good shoot em up from time to time. But if I'm in the mood just for a little cute baby Yoda face, 
I would just be happier just watching him follow frogs around and eating him. You know, he's such a froggy gulp. Or he, you know, he, he does, there's a little part in this where he's playing with um, like a, a gear shift or a control something, control panel that has like a little ball attached to it in this episode. It is so cute. And at the end, that's the thing that makes the Mandalorian go back and get him because he has like a conscience. He's like, oh, the little cute thing was playing with it and I can't let them kill him and he's special and he's awesome. And yeah, so so I was kind of stressed out watching this one. <laughs> Full disclosure. Tell me what you guys thought of it in the comment section below. I know, just be easy on me. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that goes through my brain and I and I really, really sympathize with the especially the little cute little boogers like this guy. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. I am Mecha Random42 and I'll see you guys later. Bye!